All right, so we are back with another graphics card teardown. I know these are probably getting tiresome, but I really don't have the time at the moment to do to write scripts for GPU teardowns and do all that research. I'm hoping next video will be a GPU teardown, something a bit more interesting. But for now, we're going to con continue doing graphics card teardowns, simple ones or overly complicated ones, whichever I decide. Um, a for a forewarning. I am recording this, the audio, for this video on both the shotgun mic that I usually use and a different microphone, a microphone headset that I know is a better uh, microphone. I'm trying to eliminate that static that uh, you hear in my videos, and typically the way you do it is you get a, a uh, audio DAC, but I cannot seem to get one because of all the craziness going on in the world at the moment, so this is my solution for now. I'm recording it the same way I usually do on the camera, just in case the audio on the computer doesn't work. Anyways, getting into the graphics card teardown. Today we have an HD 7770 MSI graphics card. We're going to be tearing that apart, as well as we have our tools. We have a Phillips head, um, Phillips head screwdriver. Always want to have those around, just in case. A small Phillips. A small Phillips head screwdriver, you will definitely need that. A pair of tweezers, I use this to take out the fan, um, the fan plugs from the headers, or unplug the fan from the header, because my fingers are very big and annoying, and you don't want to pull by the cords, or you will break your uh, cooler, and that's never fun. And of course, we have my small tool set. Just small tool set of screw bits and you will only be using the M5 screw bit for taking off the DVI screws and that will be it for that so we're gonna flip the card on its side and while that's happening I'm going to get that set up which I have first thing we're gonna do for this graphics card uh, we're gonna take these four screws out and this is an exposed GPU die to my knowledge. So you want to unscrew one screw a little bit, then move on to the next, and then go diagonal to another screw, then go to its neighboring screw. And you want to continue to loosen each one slowly but surely. This helps prevent your you from cracking or chipping your GPU die. Typically cracking and chipping your GPU die is not that bad big a deal, but there are cases where if you crack or, well, if you crack it, then you've broken your GPU, and there's no getting it back. So, unless you want to go pay Lewis Rossman to install a new GPU on your graphics card. Pretty interesting, I'm sure, but we're going to just put the screws aside. There's not going to be a lot of screws in this. Your fan header is actually right there just so you can see it. And what you're gonna wanna do is flip the GPU back on its other side, take it off, lay it just on its side, and then what I like to do is I like to take my small tweezers and just slowly but surely work that header out. It may be tedious and annoying, but this ensures the best way that you're not gonna break that cooler. So now that you've got that undone, oh wow, I guess this GPU got dropped at some point. Yikes. Uh, I know it still works. But anyways, um, there are no heat pads or anything on this GPU. It's just very simple. It's meant to be a low profile uh, GPU, even though it does have a six pin connector here. And we're doing full teardown, so what you're going to want to do next is... I gotta bring this more forward. You wanna take off that screw with, I think you can do it. No, you can't. That's where the Phillips head comes in. The large Phillips head, that is. So you wanna take your large Phillips head and screw that. You can even use your tiny pliers, tiny pliers, your tiny tweezers to get that out. Set that to the side. Then, what you're going to want to do is take this out and then get your M5 uh, screw bit ready to take that out. Take that screw out. 
is the small one. Get this out. Put that to the side. Then we're going to grab this. And da, da. going to take that out now. I know these are not the most exciting videos ever. These are purely just to let somebody who has no idea what they're doing that are taking apart their graphics card for the first time. And some people use a lot, a lot of older cards to game on, and I don't blame them. Some of these older cards are quite powerful. But they use them to game on, and if like they need to replace thermal paste or do some dusting or something like that, then the best option is to... Oh, and my audio thing crashed. Awesome. So, I'm giving up on recording on my headphones for this this time. I'll do it on the GPU introduction, but that is pissing me off. So now we have the card fully exposed. You can replace thermal paste if you so choose or desire or clean it, whatever. So we're going to set that to the side and we'll move on to the cooler. The cooler is the e one of the easiest things to take apart ever. Literally just take off these screws here. And once you do that, you set them all to the side. I don't think I've ever taken these screws out of this. Thing. So, um, I think I, I think I said earlier, this is one of my least favorite graphics cards. The reason why is I used it in my uh, small form factor, like bring to land parties PC. Uh, quite some time and some of these older AMD graphics cards do not work on TVs at all and it drives me nuts because my friends will have a spare TV or something and I go over to play and, or um, do a LAN party with them and I can't do anything because I don't have a spare monitor and my other spare monitor is a TV so you can see where I'm going with this so there's your heat sink if you want to take off the fan, there are screws. Yeah, let me see. There's screws, one there, one there, and come on, one there. I'm not going to take off the fan because that'll be really annoying to put back on, but that's the basis of how you tear apart this graphics card. Um, putting that together is just as easy as it was taking it apart if I remember it properly that is and we'll find out yeah that's that's right so you want it in this orientation when you put it back apart well um that's basically it is like I said oh geez these um teardowns aren't particularly fun for me either I don't like doing simple quick videos just to get a video out there um, but I know some people will lose interest if you don't put a video out right away or something like that so I'm just doing what I can um, I will try to make the next video a graphics card introduction if I can't it will be another teardown I'll try to do a different uh, graphics card something less simple a little bit more complicated like the uh, GTX 560 Ti 448 core do something like that because that was kind of complicated but either way, um, thank you guys for watching. I'm Again, I'm sorry that it was a quick video and just trying to get things done. But um, I will catch you next time, hopefully in a GPU introduction video. But thanks for watching and goodbye.